Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Anna Verheven. Today I'm going to talk about how to set up your fader port in Ableton because I have understand that's a big issue to find it in English. Now I'm from Netherlands, so <laughs> I'm trying to do it in English, but sometimes I fail. Um, over here we have the fader port. Uh, at this moment it's on right now, so I kind of put it off because I want to use it in Ableton over here. So before I turn it on, I press these two buttons. That's the first channel, first two channels, sorry. And then I put it on. Well, the problem is because I'm recording this on my phone is you don't see all the letters here on the screen. I try to, yeah, I don't know, try to show you, but the problem is my phone is not that high tech as a camera, so I'm sorry about it, but I'm gonna read what it's saying. Here, over here, you can set it in Studio One mode, which I'm always use, but there's not the thing that we are looking for. We're looking for an MCU control. So we're gonna push this button, the MCU control, and it asks which program do I have to use it on? A Logic, Cubase, Sonar, or Ableton. So for this purpose, I'm going to use it for Ableton. And then it says exit restart fader port. So we're going to press that one. Now it's going to reset itself and it's on the Ableton mode. The next step that I have to do is to hover my mouse over to options, go over to preferences, and try to find to set it up as a Mackey control and this is very hard for me because I'm holding a stand and I'm controlling the mouse right now so this is the Mackey control so we have set it up as Mackey control after that we're gonna set it up as a fader port and we're gonna use this option as input for my MIDI we're going to set it as well as the output, the same thing. And as you can hear, my fade has already started to come up. Those are the first eight faders you can use. And that's basically where it stops for a lot of persons and think about, okay, this is not the one for me. I'm going to, uh, going to sell the fader port 16. Well, you have to think about that the first eight faders are the actual Mackie control because it uses a script as Mackie control. I don't know how it works, but believe me. <laughs> um, so it only reads first eight. The most of us don't expect that it also needs a command and that's the Mackie XT. And the Mackie XT stands for Mackie control extension because we have eight ports extra. So we're going to choose that one as you can see and then I'm going over to Presonus Fader Port 16 Port 2 and as next one we're going to use the same setting Port 2. As you can see over here this is how it looks like and this is how it should work. After that we're going to scroll down and we're going to search for these two over here, set these markers for track, sync and remote, and voila, your whole fader port works now as a 16 channel fader port. As you can see, if I move one of these, as you can see, they are working I think the rest should work as well. So after that, everyone can use this fader port 16. I think it also works as a play knob. Yes, there we go. Record knob. Yes, very nice. So that's it, guys. And if you have any questions, please hit me up. But I hope that I explained it well in English. Uh, before I quit this video, um, I point out if you go to preferences, 
by default it will stand on look and feel but you have to scroll down to link tempo and midi and then you can set it up over here have fun <laughs>